Hello guys, welcome to the last section, Taking Machine Learning to Production. In this section, we will build an image correction system using DCGAN. After that, we will see microservice architecture using containers and various approaches to deploy deep models. Next, we will look at serving Keras-based deep models on Docker. Finally, we will see serverless image recognition. Now, we move on to the first video of this section that deals with building an image correction system using DCGAN. In this video, we're going to develop an image correction or completion system with the labeled face in the wild that is the LFW dataset using DCGAN. Image correction and in-painting are related technologies used for filling in or completing missing or corrupted parts of images. Building a system that can fill in the missing pieces broadly requires two pieces of information. First is the contextual information that helps to infer missing pixels based on information provided by the surrounding pixels. The next one is perceptual information that helps to interpret the filled or completed portions as being normal, as seen in real life or other pictures. Let's define some notation and loss function before diving into the steps for building an image correction system. Here, X is corrupted image. M represents a binary mask that has a value of either 1, meaning the part of the image we want to keep, or 0, meaning the part of the image we want to complete or correct. The element-wise multiplication between the two matrices, X and M, represented by returns the original part of the image and P data, that is the unknown distribution of sample data. Once we have trained the discriminator D of X and generator G of Z of DC GAN, we can leverage it to complete missing pixels in an image X by maximizing D of X over those missing pixels. Contextual loss penalizes G of Z for not creating a similar image for the known pixel location in the input image by element-wise subtracting the pixels in X from G of Z and finding the difference between them. Here is the formula for contextual loss. Perceptual loss has the same criterion used in training DCGAN to make sure that the recovered images looks real. This is the formula for perceptual loss. Next, we need to find an image from the generator G of Z that provides a reasonable reconstruction of the missing pixels. Then, the completed pixels can be added to the original pixels to generate the reconstructed image using this formula. Now, we will look at the steps for building an image correction system. First of all, make sure you have downloaded the code. The DCGAN image correction project will have this directory structure. Now, we will download the LFW dataset using wget from this website. Downloading may take some time. Once the data is downloaded, we will extract its content under the LFW directory. This command will extract all the files present in it. Next, we will execute create underscore tf records dot py to generate the TensorFlow standard format from the LFW images. It may take a few minutes to execute this file. Now, we will check the generated TF records file in the data directory using the ls command. Now, we will train the DCGAN model by executing this command. Once the training is going on, after every 5,000 iterations, you will find the generated images under the lfwgen directory. Let's see the challenges of deploying models to production. First challenge is scalability. Your model should automatically scale up or out based on the traffic and then scale down or in when the traffic is low. Next challenge is automated model training or updates. Real-world data has temporal dynamics and as your model enters the real-world production environment, the data starts looking different from that on which the model was originally trained. This means you need to retrain your model and then switch between models seamlessly. After that, the interoperation between development languages. Often, two different people or groups are responsible for researching the model and productionizing it, and the language for research may be different from the preferred language for production. It causes a bunch of problems, as machine learning models have different implementations in different programming languages, even though the model is essentially the same. 
Then we have Knowledge of Training Set Metadata Challenge. Real-world production data might have missing values, and you will need to apply a missing value imputation technique to deal with this. In production systems, you don't keep information about training data, but in order to correctly impute the missing values arriving in production test samples, you have to store the knowledge of the training set statistics needed for imputation. The last real challenge is real-time evaluation of model performance. Evaluation of a model's performance in production often requires you to collect ground truth data and generate dynamic pages as a model processes more data. Also, you might need to carry out A or B testing by deploying two or more models serving the same functionality simultaneously to evaluate performance in production. In this video, we've learned building an image correction systems using DCGAN.